Hi there, ukulele community. Lisa the Ukulele Fool here, and I am with Michael August, who I think is a ukulele superhero. And I just met him last month. In fact, here's my story behind it. My husband came up to me at uh, the Brown County Ukulele Festival and said, Oh my goodness, you've got to see this guy. He's amazing. You you want to interview him. He, he knows so much and he's doing this thing. He's talking about nap and I'm, you know, <laughs> and he's so excited. And and my uh, my husband, uh, the last time he brought in somebody to interview for me was Stu Fuchs because he got so excited with Stu Fuchs. So you're you're up in rarefied air as far as my husband's concerned. <laughs> yeah. So um, you have a rather interesting niche in the ukulele world. Um, yeah. Because I, I know that you teach harmonica workshops. Yes, I do. At, at uh, ukulele festivals. But I also know that you play ukulele because I don't know how many times I passed you in the hall and you were playing ukulele <laughs> as well. And, um, and then one of the things that you offer is a platform for people on all kinds of instruments. So we're going to talk about that. That's why I think you're a superhero. But what do you think your superpower is? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for doing this. This is a wonderful thing. I feel honored doing this. This is great. Oh, um, you're very welcome. I'm so glad that you took the time on a Friday night to talk to me. And your husband's an interesting guy. He's a great guy. Everybody should meet him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Ukulele Pool. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as far as that, um, yes, I, I come from a, from. Um, I have a bluegrass background and a blues background, and I've played with many different bands. Um, but the harmonica has always been my first instrument. Bought it from the Cracker Barrel. Um, humble beginnings. And um, now I have uh, quite a few of them. But I've been playing for over 30 years now. I've been to harmonica master's class. I've taught a few people here and there, but I've also taught at uh, the Gaithersburg Ukulele Festival last year. Right, and so both you and I are going to be going to the Gaithersburg Festival. So uh, I'll have links down below for that. That is an amazing festival. It just got kicked off uh, last year, had a blast, fabulous workshops. Uh, I can't say enough to recommend it. Yeah, wonderful people there. There's yeah. a there, and that, there's also a great little hometown band there called Sisters You Can Friends. You'll love them. They're great, too. Just thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I love playing harmonica, and I love teaching it as well. And if it can enhance your music or enhance um, back up a singer or something like that, I'd love to show you how to do it. Um, you know, beginners to uh, the more seasoned. So, and it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, so, um, you know, you kind of stumbled into the ukulele through your harmonica or other instruments. How well, how did you get to the ukulele? Well, um, I had the guitars lying around here, and um, I always pick them up, and they're really big and things like that, and then eventually ended up with a mandolin. It was a little smaller, but I was trying to play the mandolin a little bit like the guitar. And I thought, well, there's got to be something that's a little bit different. And uh, I happened to go past, past one of the music stores, and they had a ukulele sitting in there. And I thought, I don't know much about it. You know, I mean, it's got four strings. How hard can it be? <laughs> um, so I got a hold of one. It was very inexpensive. And my son at the time was about three years old. So I needed something that if he got a hold of it, and he threw it against the wall, I can glue it back together, <laughs> which I have, you know, I've done that, and, uh, uh, and it's worked. And in fact, I still have it to this day, <laughs> the first ukulele I've ever got, and it's, it's been glued together, and it's just the first one I ever bought. Uh, I still keep it around, um, but since then, I learned a lot about the ukulele, and um, now I have a few. I've, they've kind of gravitated to my house. I have a few, 
and I've changed them all to suit what I do. There's different tunings, um, have the high G, the low G. Um, sometimes I might play the slide on it. Sometimes I might do a little different, everything that's different, so. I saw you doing a slide on, um, it was on your Facebook page, which I also, I'm gonna have a link down to this before because he's got this really fun Facebook group. It's the Harpo's Chatterbox Cafe Open Mic. Open mic and yes. uh, so I, I'm following that because people are doing open mic performances on many different instruments and then you're doing performances as well. And, um, and then you're doing some cool stuff with acapella. You want to talk from, to us about that and your, your superhero endeavors? <laughs> yeah, in fact, I stumbled up on acapella and I actually love it. Um, it helped me to connect with people all around the world. This way, I can, um, we can play together. Uh, I can throw out a video, or if you send me a video, I can superimpose myself into it and play other instruments, and we're playing together. We might not have ever met, or we might have met online talking, but now we have a chance to play together. And acapella allows me to do that. Um, also, uh, acapella allows me to look good. <laughs> I can use different filters, but it's my voice. But I can use different filters and th things like that. But uh, what I really love is the fact that I can connect with people around the world. I can take at least up to 15 different windows and we can all collaborate together. It's a wonderful thing. So uh, just check it out. Take a look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I think of like my, the, you know, because my winter, my winter home and summer home, you know, I have different ukulele communities and I know that my, my friends in Fairbanks who are fabulous singers as well as ukulele players, boy, that'd be a great way for me to continue to collaborate. And I'd love to collaborate with you. In fact, we're going to do that. And, and so when, once we do it, I'll post it in the description box down below. We might not have it ready by the time this is published, but you know, post and then follow my Facebook page folks. Uh, the ukulele fool on Facebook because I'll certainly put it there. And and while I'm talking all the business stuff, hey, hit like, hit subscribe. If you have if you haven't already, uh, give this video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, spread the ukulele love. So you got into the ukulele, and then why did you stay with it? Why why the ukulele? What what what's the attraction? It's an absolutely wonderful. Uh, it gives so many different things. You can play Hawaiian style music. You can play um, classical music. You can play the blues on it. You can play the slide on it. That takes a little bit of doing though. Um, but no you can mix and match. You can collaborate with people. It's a wonderful instrument. And it's, in, in my view, I don't believe it's intimidating like the guitar because you have six strings, where with the ukulele, you have four. Um, and I always look at it as uh, with those four strings, you can do anything with that. And you meet the most interesting people. You really do. And that, to me, is a wonderful thing. It's easy to transport wherever you go, and everybody's happy when you're playing. And they get to sing. You, you play music, and you, you get people to sing. It's a wonderful. That's why I, I keep it up. Wow, that is awesome. And and just thank you so much for doing things to help make that interconnectivity within the ukulele world and, and bringing in the harmonica as well. I, th I think that's really awesome. So, um, you know, I focus primarily on absolute beginners that are uh, helping make sure that they're well trained in a nice sequential fashion. What would you give as your big for absolute beginners? I would say, don't be afraid of it. Um, if you wanted to, uh, let's say if you want to play the harmonica, number one, don't be afraid of it. It's blow and draw, okay? <laughs> There's not a whole lot there, okay? The blow and draw, but um, you get to understand where the sounds are, where are those notes? I mean, there is, there, there is harmonica tab, 
uh, for those who like that. And but then there was the sound that Steve Wonder does not use tab. Okay, <laughs> he's very good at what he does. But he hears that music and he knows where to play it. But for an absolute beginner, I would I try to tailor make a song that everybody would know. Um, um, like Oh Shannon Door, something like that, where it's just mainly blow and draw. And we just do it really easy. I can show you how to do it. It's very simple. And before you know it, you're playing it. And, um, and there's a style I call the close enough style. <laughs> 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 you're almost there. You're close enough. But, but, but believe me, um, Billy Joe does it all the time. <laughs> Great. Well, that is, that is wonderful. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing you again in the Gaithersburg Festival. And, uh, you know, and you will be sending off people that will know how to play at least close enough on the harmonica after your workshop. That's right. Yeah, it, it's going to be lively. I make it fun. Um, everybody's going to play. Don't be shy because I will pick on you. <laughs> But you're going to play. Believe me, I'm going to have you playing. And I want you to understand what it's all about. I'm not going to make it complicated. You'll see. Yeah. So. And, and you know, the other thing that I should add is those Gathers, the workshops at the Gaithersburg Festival are small workshops. You know, it's not like uh, you've got 100 people in attendance. You may have 20 to 30 people, maybe less sometimes. So, so yes. you really get a lot of uh, good attention in those workshops. So uh, yes. if you ever want to play harmonica coming up this March, do it. And then, and then, uh, you know, and then be looking for Mike Rogas at other workshops as well. Yeah. I sneak. Cause I'm learning like else. I want to learn a whole lot and I absolutely enjoy it. I think it's great. So yeah, look for me. I'll be looking for you. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Well, Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. And uh, so looking forward to seeing you again. And I'm going to have to uh, take advantage of acapella and the chatterbox, Harpo's chatterbox. Okay, open. Yeah. All yes. right. Okay. Please do that. Well, have a good evening. And we will see you again soon. Thank you. The pleasure was all mine. Loved every minute. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, very welcome.